Coming up next is a Muay Thai super fight in the 67 kilo division, including three three minute rounds. Coming first into the blue corner, representing Great Britain, Chris Whittle. This is Mixed Fight Gala, ladies and gentlemen, and that means a range of different disciplines all on one card. We've seen some kickboxing, and now it's time for the full Muay Thai rules. However, this will be contested over three rounds of three minutes. Chris Whittle of Great Bit making his way down the ringside right now. Said before the fight that Kale is just a name and a number for him. Fights out of Frank's gym in Manchester, training under Frankie Hutters. He's fought for Yokel and Thai fight and has uh, spent some time in Thailand. Defeated Ross George at Yokel 13 on the undercard of the Pecorn Liam Harrison card. His opponent coming into the ring in the red corner, representing Germany. Yuri the Prank King! His opponent, Yuri Kale, one of the most popular fighters at Mixed Fight Gala, along with his brother Enrico, also a part of the promotional team, Team Mixed Fight. Spot all over the world, including in Thailand, all over Europe, and has racked up quite a few championships. The two time world Muay Thai champion, and has fought some uh, pretty high profile fighters in his career, including Sinichai and Jordan Watson. Last time around at Mixed Fight Gala, did win by KO in the first round. Introducing the blue corner, 20 years old, swing 1.80 meters, weighing in at 64.1 kilos. He holds a professional record of 21 wins with just 7 defeats. 12 of his victories coming by way of knockout. He is a Yokao and Thai fight veteran, fighting out of Manchester, England. Here's Chris Whittle. His opponent across the ring in the red corner, 27 years old, staying 1.84 meters, weighing in at 66.1 kilos. He holds a professional record of 45 wins with just five losses, but 18 big knockouts. Fighting out of Germany, here's Yugi the Brain King! And your opponent once again is Arjun Bayermeier. You can hear the Thai music ringing out here at Mixed Fight Gala. I don't know if they're going to do a Y crew or not. Usually they don't. Looks like they're just going to get to action. It's one of the things I wonder about, you know, why is it that Muay Thai you know, it seems like all the fighters, a lot of the fans, very, very passionate about it. Why hasn't it really caught on to the extent that uh, kickboxing or, or other forms of fighting have? Maybe it's just because of those, those Thai rituals that are, well, no pun intended, tied to it. Maybe something that... Westerners just cannot understand, casual fans at least. But here we go. The music is still going on. Yuri Kale in the red gloves, Chris Whittle in the blue. Hard body kicks by Whittle. Yuri Kale has a little bit of a reach advantage here. But uh, Whittle so far is really impressing me with the power behind those shots. 
Keep in mind that this is full Muay Thai rules, ladies and gentlemen. It is the one and only Muay Thai contest on the card. Kale misses and ends up in the corner. And I think that Whittle caught him on the way down, but he was already in halfway swinging with his leg. Combination shot with his hands, catches the leg. And Kale finds himself on the canvas again. Take a look at the reddening all over the body of both of these guys so far. Right on the chest and on the abdomen of Chris Whittle. On the shoulder. Some power behind those shots, man. Both guys look to be in absolutely incredible condition for this fight. Look at the definition on the bodies of these guys. Like straight out of the comic book. Whittle went for it all with that head kick and slipped on the way up with his back leg. Catches the leg now. Kale blocks the kick, moves in. The barrage of offense. Not a lot of it landing cleanly, though. Under a minute remaining in the opening round. This is three rounds of three minutes. Back and forth now with shots. Whittle got out of range of that kick in a hurry. Whittle feigning quite a bit here. And let's lose with the right hand. Kale way out of range. Inside 30 now. Second hammer goes down. Kale got caught with the kick and lost his balance right at the end of the round. Let's listen into the corner and see what we can hear. Some encouraging words from brother Enrico over in the corner of Jury Kale. Calling for a lot more elbows, I believe. My German is a little bit rusty. When I say it's rusty, I mean, I really only know a couple of the bad words. But I did pick up the fact that uh, he wants him to use more elbows. So we'll see if he's able to do that here in round number two as they clinch up in the corner. Again, this is Muay Thai rules, so the referee is letting it go. finally stepping in here. High kick blocked by Kale and lands a low kick that sends Whittle to the ground. There's that body kick again, man. Whittle he landed a couple of times really good in the beginning of that first round, and you let him have it again with it just now. That body kick from the back leg. Kale is in constant motion. He's like a whirling dervish. There's a body kick by Kale. There's the spinning back elbow. 
crowd erupts. That may have been the first elbow of the fight. Spinning heel kick that time up to the head. These guys are all over the place. Take a look at the body of Chris Whittle. Looks like a road map of upstate New York with all those bruises. Punishing low kick that time from Whittle. As he does the damage and then gets out of dodge. Kale trying to corner him here. Low kick. There's the back elbow again. Inside 30 seconds now. Whittle blocks the head kick. Still light on his toes. Moving to his right. Kale again trying to cut down the ring. Moving in now. Spinning back. Missed that time. Head kick got stuck up there. Closing seconds now, and that's it. And now we'll go to the corner of Chris Whittle. He's tired. Work on that. He's tired. He's off. Three. You see those? One more now. Oh, you want them both? You're winning? You are, huh? You're doing a better way. He's missing you. Take a look at what happened in that round. Some pretty good body kicks by Whittle. Kale started to get the rhythm with his elbows a little bit. Taking the advice of his brother. Still have yet to land extremely clean, though. Three minutes off. You've got it, guys! Lots of encouragement from the corner of Whittle. Three minutes on the clock here. We'll settle this one at Mixed Fight Gala 21. Thanks for watching, everybody, on White Box HD TV channel in over 40 countries around the world and also streaming live. All of you who ordered the pay per view, thank you very much. Fightboxlive.com. It's all Yuri Kale. This is Muay Thai, so the refs let the clinch go. They're walking all over the, the ring cards there at the bottom of the ring. I think that uh, Whittle's just trying to get some oxygen in his lungs right now and recollect himself. some kicks, looked at the referee as, as if to say something, but didn't get what he wanted. There's a push kick to the body by Kale. I think that Whittle started off this fight pretty good, but the second half of the fight has been all Kale. There's still time though, there's still a minute left. This thing's still up in the air. Kale all over him now, like white on rice. Whittle trapped in the corner here, eating some knees. Back and forth they go. Here comes Kale. Does 
doesn't even give him a second to breathe. Smothering him like a wet blanket now. As they're caught in the clinch, Kale looking for a break. Time is slipping away here. Riddle needs something big. Hard knee to the body by Kale. That's been ace for him throughout this fight, those knees. Closing seconds. And that's all she wrote. This one goes to the judges, folks. So a great showing from both guys. Hard to say, I, I think, like I said, Widow started off very well in that first round and a half, and then Yuri Kale really turned it on in the second round. I think rounds two and three were very, very strong for Kale. Maybe too much. And you can tell just by looking at the damage on their bodies and the physical state that they're both in, that it looks like Kale could emerge victorious. But we're going to send it up to ring announcer Tobias Gerald to find out for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of Muay Thai, we have a winner by unanimous decision. And he comes from the red corner, Yuri the Brain Kill. Big round of applause here for the Brain as he racks up another victory at Fixed Fight Gala 21.